First thing we're gonna do, make sure all this is tight. I know we've been showing some things around, so I wanna make sure things good. Normally, you know, you're, you're always gonna to wanna to start off at your lighter setting. So it'll be 22 clicks out. So we go over to the download application. And what you're gonna do is, is that the way our tests are set up, there's two things we wanna accomplish on the dyno. Obviously we wanna test it itself. The second thing we wanna do is we wanna actually get it up to about 150 degrees of temperature. Mm. And the reason why we do that is, is that we get, that's gonna knock off all the excess grease that we assembled it with, any kind of lubricant. Because once we get done here, we take it back over there and then we wash it off with uh, degreaser and contact cleaner. And so, go ahead and do this. We'll get it started. First thing you do, it's gonna run at five inches per second. It's, it's got a temperature probe right here. And even though this is running at five inches per second, you can see this metal just torquing right now. Now it's running through gas test, but it'll, it got up to 100 degrees on this, and you'll see the temp in just a second. You see that's 100. By the time we get done with by the third test, it should be 150 to 160 degrees. And that really makes sure that we're going to deliver a product that's leak proof. I mean, you get it up, you're never going to get a drag race shock up to 180 degrees on the, on the track. You don't run it long enough. But the reason why it gets so hot is that this produces such massive energy on damping. <clears throat> And we all know energy turns into heat. It's always measured by heat, BTUs, what have you. So, and then I'll tell you, watch this piece up here, because once it starts hitting the higher numbers, it's gonna flex a lot. At this point, this will give us a readout of what our, our forces were. So, you know, give an idea at eight inches per second, we made 480 pounds, and then we made about 2,480 pounds on the rebound at eight inches per second. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 10 more clicks into this, which would be 12 clicks for maximum damping. Typically for our customers, that's as, as stiff as you'd ever run them. You still have more to go. Yeah. Like 10 more or something. Yeah, and, and honestly, it, this dyno can't handle more than that because we're gonna be making some massive force here. You can see it's already up to 119 degrees there. In fact, if you touch this, oh, it's gonna be beyond warm. Yeah. By the time we get done, you wouldn't be able to pick it up. All day. Yeah. Oh, just in that little bit of. Yeah. That's how much force this stuff makes, though. So it's going straight to gas test. It already knows it's hot enough. And at this point, this is gonna make about 30% more force than it did before. You're going to see that shock really move up and down now. And to give you an idea, the, sh the shock right now, the temperature is... It's pretty hot, Eddie. It's getting warm. <laughs> Just a it's 149 Ooh, yeah. degrees. Warmed up pretty good. <laughs> but look at the difference in the curve on this. Wow. It's just, it's enormous. It, uh, like just on the compression force. Now remember, this is our least adjustable shock we've got. And so it made originally about 486 at, at the same velocity, it made 517 now. So that's pretty big, but on the rebound side, it actually jumped up and we'll go with the eight inch per second or close to that anyway. Okay. It, at one setting it has uh, 2661 for pounds. Then on the softer setting, it jumped up from 2480. Wow. Huge difference. Mm -hmm. You know, again, uh, that's one of the things. We, we make our shocks. Um, I was telling one of our customers last weekend, he goes, what should I do? And I said, you hit that SOB as hard as you can hit it. And he goes, it's going to go? I said, it will go. Hit it as hard as you can hit it. Mm -hmm. And they had a good weekend. I think they set a couple world records, as a matter of fact. A good weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's, that's how we use the dyno, though. We can measure everything about what it's doing and how it's doing it. Awesome, Marcus. Thanks for showing us that. You betcha, buddy. All right.